Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series this week at Legacy Michigan. Ready to do some two mile track racing here, just like Auto Club. Got uh, all our settings the way I want them, I believe, yes. Yeah, we all make it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Not so sure. I've got pole time in me this week, but uh, then again, last week I definitely did not think that, and uh, somehow it happened, so we'll just give it our best and see what happens. But uh, Ian had the fastest time in practice by uh, two one thousandths, it looked like, and uh, the lap I put down that got that close was kind of fluky. I didn't really get back to that close again, so we'll see what happens, but... Uh, not as confident here. Just very, very hard to control. Super loose on exit here. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time flat. And we gotta get the right balance of not overdriving it, but getting the most out of it as we can. Hey, that felt pretty good. I do think that uh, the rubber being put down on the track changed the handling a little bit, perhaps. It did start feeling a little bit weird. End of practice. Not my best three and four there. But I will take it. Looks like we're going to be right around our best time, pretty close. That's Paul. The lap time was at 39.1. I think I overdrove that. Got down to that first lane a little bit too soon. So we lost some speed through the corner. Tires might just be a little less grippy anyway. I've noticed you can push a little bit harder in 3 and 4. It seems the car is a little bit looser for 3 and 4. Which is interesting. But yeah, it's looking like our first lap is definitely going to be the quickest. Right now it's getting the job done. Tracy in second there with a 188. Ian back in fifth. Thought he uh, might be the one to get the pole. But maybe took it a little easier or something. Which is fine. I mean, P5 is a pretty great starting spot regardless. And we'll see if anyone else is still going. But for now, we are going to do a practice pit in. Alright, a little aggressive. But that'll work. Alright. So, P1 for now. Who we got left to go still? Leighton still could pass us. He's very fast. Actually, we got a handful of people. Still got Rick and Wesley, Benjamin, lots of people. So, all right. Yeah, you know, we had some storms. Some people were dealing with. I know Nick said Nick Neben said he was uh, he had storms on his way that hopefully were going to die out a little bit before they got to him. We had some rainstorms here in eastern Missouri before the start of this thing, but thankfully that seems to have already passed for us. We had some hail and stuff. That was pretty crazy. So, going to be interesting to see what happens with the tires. I think it's going to get loose. I think the car's going to want to get really loose. It could get tight on entry because we are heading into these corners about 200 miles an hour. So, the right front is going to be feeling that, I imagine. But, uh, very loose on exit, too, I bet. So... We will see. Where are we? We're still P1. It looks like we might get the pole. Chad needed the extra minute since I think he disconnected. Oh no, he knocked his own over. He's having a rough start. He's like scrambling like me in the last race. <laughs> last race where I was late and I was like all kinds of stressed out just trying to get started. So 12 seconds left though, not too long. And uh, since we have this time, we will go ahead and look at the league standings heading into this race. I'll go ahead and pull that up while we wait. 
and then uh, we will soon be ready to get out there for the race. The so, well going done. to league sessions here. We do get the poll. Heck yeah. Three minute warm up, so we have time to assess our situation in the points. Not too many races left for this season. Just a couple more, um, I believe, unless I'm Good full of nonsense. Everyone. And we still got a handful. But uh, we're more than halfway, I believe. And uh, I will go ahead and click this button here to bring up the standings. Here they are. So right now, P1 in front of Gavin, but not too much of a gap. We've only got about 48 points. Good luck. And uh, that's one rough finish away from losing pretty much the majority of that if Gavin right. has himself a good run and I crash or something. So... Nothing is set in stone, for sure. We've been able to get some good bonus points so far. I think we've got the most of anybody. This column here is the bonus points. Just five points more than Tracy and John, who are tied for the second most, it looks like. So that's helping us out a lot, too. Always good to get those fastest laps and lead some laps and stuff, so that way we can get those bonus points, because they play a big part. It's like finishing a couple spots ahead is essentially what we're doing whenever we're able to get those points, so... Now that uh, we're aware of what the points are looking before we get started here, we'll see how they evolve through this race. I'm going to go ahead and let you go since we still have about a minute and a half before we start grading up. And uh, we'll rejoin when it's time. See you then. Alright, we're back and ready to grid. So you can see this is your starting lineup. We're going to see if we can hold on um, to our track position best we can. 31 cars out here today. And 100 laps. Good luck. You'll see we got about 33 laps of fuel. So if uh, if we're careful with this, we might be able to do two stops at 33.66 and then make it to the end. But we will have to save a little bit there. So it's an interesting fuel situation, really. At the very least, I think we want to try to make it to 33. We'll have to save a, a lap in there somewhere, because this could very well go green. Stay behind the pace car in the outside lane. We're gonna be saving as much as we can. Yeah, the pace truck's pretty fast, I guess. He's peeling out. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> This is going to be tough. We're going to have to save some fuel in there somewhere. But not give up too much. Could be fun, though. I think it could be a lot of fun. Having a, a fuel race set up here. Potentially, if it goes green. Lots of room out here. Of course, we got... Uh, it's pretty darn loose. The race car is, so... Good guys... Have guys spinning or getting loose and then colliding with somebody could cause a caution but these races with the exception of Daytona have been very clean so I think we just have to prepare for the potential need to use or save some fuel so we can do that uh, two-stop strategy I think we're gonna be doing big liftoffs see where that takes us I'm ready to go though, it's exciting. Second gear start looks like. Kind of eased onto the throttle there. John makes up some ground on us there, but that's okay. I'm just going to be trying to be careful with my uh, throttle usage. Good start. Probably uh, want to protect that right rear too, anyway, so. Try to prevent the car from sliding as much as we can. All that good stuff. I 
I keep it smooth. Second lane up, of course, where you want to be at Michigan, usually. That bottom lane, I guess, is just not as banked as the next lane up, and so typically you want to be that lane up. I think we're just going to let Tracy have it if he wants it. I'm more concerned with saving fuel right now. we got to make it a two-stop. That's just non-negotiable. Because saving one lap of fuel or so through this thing is going to be... Uh, so much quicker than having to take an entire another stop. Plus it'll force me to save some tire, which I never seem to do, so... See how it goes. Not going to try to do too much. So 28 laps. Still just a past 32 laps we can make it. I want to save a little bit more. This all could be made uh, pointless if we get a caution. But even if that happens, that's okay. Lots of race to go. Shouldn't be too hard to adjust our strategy if necessary. Trying to prevent my car from sliding at all. That feels good. I think this is... I, I'm happy with our plan here. It's not like we're losing a ton of track position either. I mean, we're still in third. And we've got... Uh, fourth or fifth behind us and then a decent gap behind to sixth so you know we're not like just doing terrible laps right now or anything so I'm gonna keep at this see where it brings us I guess I have to hope that uh, the guys ahead aren't doing the same thing and are just better at it. <laughs> Could be they're up there and uh, still saving just as much or more fuel than I am. Been surprised many times by guys being able to do that. We are saving fuel pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the, how those numbers are looking. Someone on our rear end there. I don't know. I think that's either Ian or Chuck. It's Ian. Okay. So if he wants to go by, no big deal. Not at all. Just gonna let him go by. Ideally, we can save a bunch of fuel early on, and then maybe don't even need to do as much saving later. Just great. We could manage to do that.
even with me taking it super easy, the car is still getting loose, which is really interesting. I know it's gonna it's gotta be worse for guys who are pushing harder on exit. Chuck right behind us. About half a second back with That's what we're looking at. I'm doing a kick flip. <laughs> Looking pretty good on fuel. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Still just want to save as much as possible this first run. I think Ian got his uh, first win last week, wasn't it? So, that was pretty cool for him. I mean, he's gotten close a couple of times. So cool that he was able to finally get it done. He's in third right now for this one. Overdrove that a little bit. It's okay. Just lifting off pretty early so that way we can coast as much as we can through the corners. Right now I think we're on track. I think uh, we can make it pretty far along here. Now another thing we're going to have to do is, you know, always, you know, this is all assuming we stay green of course, but we're going to have to go all the way until this thing's empty. It's no messing up pit entry. We can't miss it and uh, have to go around another time because there's not going to be enough fuel to do it another time around. So that's going to be something we're really going to have to watch out for. They're not getting too far away from us in front either, which is nice. Tracy's the farthest out front there at one second. Oh, that was fair. Having scary moments back there, apparently. I'd like this to stay green. I'm very interested to see how this works out, fuel-wise. I haven't seen much in terms of tire fall off when comparing speeds of guys around us. No one that uh, seems to be falling off or getting super loose or anything on exit, nothing like that. Still early though. Still not even halfway through this first run, I would say. Though we are close. Right, we're almost making it about 35 now. That's great. Like I said, I'd like to save as much possible early if we can, so we don't have to worry about taking it easy later. There's some handling right there. It looked like Ian got loose a little bit, maybe having to give extra room because John was blinking. Might have been what happened there. More wheel turn to the left means more chance of the thing trying to break sideways on you. Don't 
the lap time was at 41.4. A little tighter on entry. A little less willing to turn down the track, it seems like. But nothing too bad. It's like Andrew might be looking his looking to find his way up here a little bit further. That broke sideways a little bit. Easy now. You got that. Saw some smoke like someone hit the wall. Not sure if that's just John's connection thinking he hit the wall. Suddenly we're reeling them in again. That's interesting. And getting sideways, that breaks his momentum pretty big. Good consistency. Keep them coming. You can just see him getting that extra rotation on exit, where the car's not too happy with him there. It's probably having to wheel it a bit, counter steer. Very happy with how much uh, fuel mileage we're getting. Might be easier than I thought for everybody to make it. That's okay, we've still been able to save tires going easier. It's also worthwhile. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, John sideways there. Looks like he had a bit of a moment. Almost getting to the inside of Ian, but not quite. Big lift off early. I'm gonna go to his inside. Weird being the guy that has good tires for once. Usually one getting passed. Okay. Ian backed off for us, I think. Made the pass easy, so appreciate that. He's got himself a little bit of a gap there. Over half a second for him. Check he's feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling pretty good right now. We got 13 laps more of fuel. Should get us quite a ways. behind us. We've got lap car coming up of Rick. Looks like he's staying low and maybe even going into the pits there. He's not at all in the way. Great quiet race. No one's really talking. Making sure I had that unmuted. That's good consistency. Keep it up. 
I can't tell how much John is having handling issues and how much it's just his car whipping around because of the connection. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Tracy got big loose up there. That was interesting. I have no idea where John is. Not precisely. Still just a second back of Tracy. People pitting in already. Interesting. Okay, so Benjamin's going for the three stop. He's committed to that, it looks like. We're still looking good to make it a two stop. I'll let you have it in three, Shane. Thank you. We still got about nine laps. We can make it to about 35, I think, which is pretty darn good. Very happy with that. Agreed. Too damn slow to be fighting. I really hope this stays green. I like how this is turning out so far. Got a little sideways for my comfort there. 94 of Allen deciding he can't make it a two stop. Or he just has decided he wants to save more later. Have to save a lot though, I think. But there's still a lot of race left, so it shouldn't be impossible by any means. And closer to those pit stops, interesting to see when guys around us pit. If they think they can make it a two-stop or not. I imagine they should be able to. It was a little bit easier to make it this far than I expected. You've just done a 41.8. John pretending to hit the wall again, I think. But he is pretty high up the track. Maybe he did get it on it. Tracy seems like he's handling just fine. He hasn't really been bobbling at all, as far as I can tell. I saw him slide maybe once. But other than that, it's fine, I think. Just as I'm saying that, it looks like maybe he got a little sideways there, but didn't lose much momentum out of it, that's for sure. Six laps of fuel. Oh, hi, look. Handling feels great. I'm happy with how this run has gone. Fitness. Some coming in on lap 30. This is actually pulling away. He's pushing a little bit now that uh, he's good on fuel. Alongside John, is he going to battle us for it? Yeah, 
guess. Okay. That sucks. Maybe not. Okay. I thought he was, and so I drove in hard. And now he's gone. Gosh, I have no idea where he is at any given time. Almost time to pit. Lost some serious time getting around him there. You can see we lost one tenth, two tenths, maybe three by the time we get to the end of the front stretch here. It's kind of my fault for uh, thinking about it the wrong way though. I thought I could just pass him on entry and then not have to worry about holding it too low. Clear in that corner and that's not how it played out, so... Yeah, eight pit in lap. I think we're coming in lap 35. I think we should be fine to uh, use up a little bit. Although, I tried there and I uh, got tight. So I don't know what's going on with this car. The next car is the leader. I've been going easy so long, I haven't really been testing how much grip I have. You are the leader. Nice and smooth. You've got about two laps of fuel. Clear. I'm going to this time, guys. You've got one gun on left. Thank you for that, Hit him. The guy's pitting in, I'm going the extra lap. Like that uh, security net. Safety net. That's the word. Frick, man. <laughs> Loose car. Coming in this next lap. Should be fine to come pit. Pitting in this lap, pitting in this lap. Don't forget to pit this lap for all fuel. Oh, I can't speed again. And outside. Oh my god. Very little fuel left. Clear this lap. In this lap. Okay, it's decent entry. I'm happy with that. Pole, so we're going to be all the way at the end here. Tires and fuel checked. Make sure to check on that. Okay. Five, three, two, one. Now actually get in the box, please. Rinnick behind is pitting now. Fifty-five forty-eight. Really bad on that right rear, but I was kind of easing into the corners a lot too, so that makes sense. Okay, go. There's traffic approaching. Watch your mirrors. Easy. Quick but easy. Get through. Hit exit. It's fine. Okay. We've obviously lost some time since we were out a little bit longer, but that's okay. So we made it 36 laps, 35, 36 laps. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Those other guys are going to be just fine, but they are still going to have to keep saving a little bit, I think. We should be able to go just a bit faster. We just have to make sure that we make it say lap 78 or 77 or something. I think if we can make it there, we'll be fine. Or wait, 60, no. <laughs> 60, 
68. Or thereabouts. Tracy's got a five second lead now, but a little bit less new tires. Okay, Colton, the next car is Phipps. The gap behind has increased to 3.5. Your lap time was 39.7. See how our fuel usage changes? We don't want to use too much either, but we have a little bit of room to wiggle <laughs> since we uh, went 36 that first run. Still going to try to avoid getting sideways or anything like that. Andrew's got three lap fresher or older tires, rather. Sixth place, I'm happy with that, I'm okay with that. Alright, should be able to get around him without too much trouble. Do. Three guys ahead all pit one lap before us. Ian's getting sideways, very sideways. That can't be good for him. I see a massive lead. He must have been really good with the hit cycle there. Guess he must have got in and out really quick. What's our fuel looking like? 27 laps? That sounds good to me. Whole goal of uh, taking it so easy that first run was give us some fuel buffer. I think uh, we've got that right now. Looks like another lap car up there. Between the leader and P2. Gonna be on the outside, it looks like it. It's Rick. Outside. Outside is clear. Car outside. It's the inside of Ian, just barely. E4, 
Tracy 2.3 out ahead. That's impressive. Off. That's good. Check that right rear as much as we can, and key three. All right, moving forward. Loose there. Chuck got big loose though. Whoa. That was scary. Still there at the bottom. Clear. Now, what are we going to do about Tracy? He's way far ahead. Two lap older tires, but it hasn't seemed to be affecting him all that much. Bit of a four tire slide, that's not good, that's not what I wanted at all. Overdrove it a little bit mid corner. Really like to see that gap come down as much as possible. Cause he's got quite the advantage right now. And I'm getting this weird push mid corner now. I was not getting earlier in the race. Don't know what that's about. And that's in three and four. Try not to do it this time. It's much better. Now we'll have more speed through the straightaway, and I think that'll be better for us. Man, I wish we were catching Tracy more. He's got two lap older tires and he's still just hanging even. Yeah, I didn't mean to drive up so deep. I didn't mean to drive up the track right there. Oh, my bad. Just a little too deep. Turn one. That didn't work at all. I tried to go a little lower and use this seam to get the car turning a little bit, and that just was terrible. I just feel like I was better off that first run, just because I was saving tire better. At least we're leaving the guys behind a little farther back, which is nice. Tracy's just fine to two-stop it. He's got no worries there.
decent bit of lap traffic coming up. You can see a handful of cars sporadically out front, up, out there. That lap was at 41.5. Over halfway through the race already. It's been a pretty quick one so far. Tracy's just doing such a great job. I don't know how we're not able to catch him at all with two lap pressure tires. I'm thinking we have to pit. Tires are going to plateau like that, that makes me feel like we want to try to undercut. But that's going to be right about where he pits anyway, because we can only undercut so much before we just can't make it on fuel. Got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Speaking of fuel, we'll take a look at that. Fifteen laps. Still good to make it just fine. Someone way down there. They must have gotten loose. Is that the 92, Peter? I think it is. Had himself a moment. Hopefully we can keep this green. I'm very interested in how this has played out, even if it's looking like Tracy has the advantage. You're welcome. That last light was at 41.6. I tried driving in a little harder to turn one. I know we were on the right rear. Ooh, I almost got the wall. I know we were on the right rear that first run, so... Oh, shade on the track. Okay, a little more grip. Good to know. That fooled me. Sure still feels loose still. Hopefully the lap traffic will give us room so we can run our preferred line. I'm gonna go high, Ben. Copy that. You can feel that extra grip now. I think that the, the shade cloud cover has been there for a second. Pretty good enough. Uh, Car outside, no one Clear outside if you want to. Car outside, outside, clear. Take an interesting line there. Not great, but we still get by him. Trying to drive in harder to turn one, not because I think it's necessarily faster, though it might be. It seems like we might be gaining a little bit by doing so, but just because I know we were on that right rear that first run, so we could potentially balance the handling out a little more if we get on the right front. So that's the that's the idea there. Maybe we can do that in three and four as well, but it handles so differently. Okay. Maybe we can do that. But he's still hanging out at about two seconds, though. He's not losing anything, hardly. Just 
can't figure out how to catch him. He gained so much through the pit stops, and he did have a gap already, but it feels like he just had such a quick pit stop or something. He's got some lap traffic to get by, though. They look like they might even be too wide up there. Maybe not quite, but they were pretty close to it. Pit stop's coming again for too long. We're still kind of scheduled for a lap 69 pit. Even though Tracy had to pass those lap cars, still didn't gain anything on him. Not really. Lap time was 41.7. Tracy's just going to be hard to beat today, I think. Someone got in the grass, maybe? It looks like a puff of dirt in the air. Dirt and dust. Someone on the wall. Chad, it looks like. Just had a rough one. A soda spill. For the start of it, it sounds like. Get to his inside. It's our corner, but not too bad. It's pitting, I think. I didn't expect that. That slowed us down. I don't know, man. Even John back there is kind of catching us, I think. Really working out for us. That's where we lost a bunch of time last lap. so sideways. This second run has been terrible compared to the first one. You've got about five laps of fuel. God, he nearly hit us. What was that? He go in any softer. Anything that was green on my screen when I was entering. He nearly killed us. That's scary. I don't know what to make of this run. It was just so much worse than the first one. I guess we just drove too hard, even though we had better tires. You've just done a forty-one point six. Coming into pit, I think. I don't want Tracy to know, though. I want to try to undercut him.
24 pitting. Pitting, so it, we'll, we'll go back. The next car's the lead. The lead is pitting, pitting now. now. I just don't want to think about fuel at all. I don't have to worry about it. Shouldn't have had to even if we pit now, but at least we're doing something a little different. Tracy. You've got about two laps of fuel. Coming in here, coming in. Pitting this time, pitting this time. Watch your speed. Alright. Decent entry. We'll need to stop again. One gallon remaining. Tires of fuel should be good. In. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. E649, still in the right rear. We're done, get going. You only behind. have one Watch time to make the white line. The lead is sitting now. It's pitting. That's Tracy. Probably padding's lead even more. Almost definitely, since he has a lap fresher of tires. Chuck gets around us, two lap undercut. I don't know what we do here. We can't catch him. I mean, look at that. He's three seconds up. He gains another second and a half. I don't know what to do about that, man. John's going back in? He must have had a penalty. Oh, that's a different John. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. <laughs> Confused there for a second. Guess we just drive hard. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Hitting this lap, man. Drive hard, see what happens. Obviously on the Stop. right rear, so just drive hard, fast laps. We'll see if we can get anything out of this. Smoke, I don't know what that was. Run the lead lap, at least, if there is a caution now. Back in third, ahead is now 3.0 seconds. You've just done a 39.5. The answer. Clock behind is now 2.1. We're P3, that's pretty good. We got some space behind. That was a 39.4. The guy behind has just done a 39.4. Fastest lap for outside, 39.4. Not getting us much room, that's okay, we make it through. Hopefully Chuck can maybe battle him a little bit. Give us a chance. I don't know if that's going to happen though, because I know Tracy's on the lap fresher tires. Uh-oh, someone's been really sideways. Lance. And the grass a little bit even. 58 pitting. The lap time was at 39.6. Just driving hard this time, see what happens. Gaining on this car, the gap is 2.0 seconds. Outside. Clear up top. Thanks. All right. So. We've got fresher tires than the two guys ahead, but they still got about two seconds on us, so what's that going to do? We don't know.
driving real hard. This is 100% pretty much. Don't hit the wall. Cut that about as closely as you can. Plenty good on fuel. This was the plan, right? We uh, save fuel early so that we don't need to at all later. That was the idea. We are catching him. A little bit at a time. Truck at one second now. The lock time was forty point zero. P three gaining on this car. The gap is zero point nine. Twenty five to go. Coming to twenty four. Tires are going to plateau potentially. Maybe we can get around them and then the tires won't kill us as bad as they probably should, considering how hard I'm driving. That was not a good corner. Messed that up. Starting to get loose on that right rear again. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. What's that? Oh, Jesus. That was distracting. Somebody, Benjamin, crash. Thankfully, he's off the racing surface, but that was... A terrible corner, I got distracted. At the corner of my eye, I thought it was a car sideways on the track. That's too bad for him, it, it'll be the end of, race, of the race for him, it looks like. Stopped gaining all of a sudden again, I think. Tracy, at least. I think we might be able to get Chuck. I really hope John doesn't feel the need to pass me. Don't worry, Colton. I'm not going to get you up, man. <laughs> I was just wondering if you were going to try to pass. Thanks for letting me know. That's funny. Funny timing. Probably because he got a pretty good run on us, so... It became a question to ask. Alright, he's gonna give it to us. Car outside. Clear high.
Thanks. All right. Please. Corner. Trace is pulling away again after uh, having to get around a couple guys. I just there's there's no beating them today. I don't think. I'm not sure it's gonna be possible. really fast. He's only got one lap fresh of tires and he's like ready to pass us. Yeah, Trace is pulling away. I got nothing, man. I don't know. Trace has got this figured out. Oh, he gets big loose there, though. It's interesting. And that's where he got smoke. But he's still pulling away on the straightaway. How is that possible? <laughs> Maybe that was an illusion. Maybe that, that's somebody up ahead that got loose. But I swear I saw smoke come from his car and then him gain another tenth on us. Driving in harder, see what that does for us. No turn to the center. Whoa, is someone losing it on the front stretch. Lots of handling problems going on out here, it looks like. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. The gap to header in front is now 1.4 seconds. Thanks. Is that Gavin that was big loose? He's having severe, severe right rear problems, at, I'm, say, I'm guessing. Fourteen to go. I would have to gain a tenth on Tracy every lap, and that's just not gonna happen. If I gain a tenth any lap, he doesn't just pull away. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Good on fuel, right? I hope. Fifteen. Yeah, we're good. Ronald swerving around. Whoa, Gavin's losing it. Uh, chase it up the track a little bit. That wasn't very fast. Man, it's so demoralizing to be driving as hard as I am and then just watching Tracy get further away. Even on fresh retires, he's just pulling away these late runs. I don't know how he's doing it. Yeah, it gets a little bit squirrely over those bumps on the back straightaway. Well, I think we're just going to have to try to hold on to our P2 then.
Outside. Keep low. Clear outside. Have to hold the line down lower that time so we have a slower one and two. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want to. Pace is just gone. That's a bomber. We just gotta keep it in front of Chuck now, because he's gaining on us too, I think. Ten to go. Casey's got it one. Can we hold on to P2? You've just done a 41.6. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I guess you never know. He's got some traf uh, lap traffic ahead. You never know if he gets caught up in a bad situation, but they all seem pretty spread out, and uh, the most part everyone's pretty good about Given room for the lead guys, so maybe in official racing where guys just race the lead lap guys for no reason, but I don't think that's going to happen here. up real bad. I tried something different there and it did not work. Just completely slid up. Now we're going to lose to Chuck. One mistake there, thinking I can push a little bit harder. Well, with how hard we pushed after the second pit stop, maybe we'll have the fastest lap. Yeah, probably not, but maybe. God, it snaps out of nowhere. Well, we're going to gain some on Gavin if it looks like he's going to finish P16 or so. Assuming we can finish where we are right now. I'll say hi, Tracy, and, and one here. If I nearly got to me. Because I'm so slow on exit, I guess. I was pushing hard because it looks like he's going to catch me. Thank you. Okay, Colton. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. No chance he runs out of fuel or anything. He's only been uh he's only been out one lap longer than he has, and we're gonna be just fine. I think Chuck's faster than us right now. He like uh, he had such a run on us out of four that one lap, and then I think he caught us quicker than he expected or something. So he kind of like maybe had a little handling issue. I'm not sure what happened right there. Lost a little bit of space. 
think it's going to come back at us. It might be hard for us to hold on to the two. Four to go. Looking like it's going to be another caution-free race, which is just so cool. That's so awesome. Even if we did get a caution now, the race would be over, I believe, so... out of the corner there. Check's going to be within a tenth, I think, by the time we get to turn one. That's really sideways. That was pretty sideways for it to be mid-corner. There it goes. He's going to get us now. Fight for it. No grip in the right rear. I'm just frustrated now. <laughs> Dang it, man. P3. I know th I shouldn't be complaining about P3, to be clear. That's a great finish. Wow, I went to the wall. Uh, that's a great finish, but I just felt like I could do so much more. So, we'll get P3, I guess. Trace will get the win. Go in. You're right, Dave. Whew. All right. Thanks. Good race, everybody. Trace, good win. Yeah, good win, Trace. Well deserved. Well done. Decent drive. All right. Dave, Great job, Tracy. Major pace up there. B3 after we Great just job. can't hold really it together well. the last couple of laps. Finally ran a race without screwing up. Man. Interesting. I've never been so sweaty after a race. Yeah, same. Interesting to see uh, what the, the race up said. There, that was a brutal one for me, but that was really fun. 56 hey, points. Great race, Nick. Nick, you just, you just better than I did in the last few laps. Six forty-six. Great racing, fellas. Appreciate it. What do other guys get? Da zingy two. Good racing, everybody. <laughs> I was just killing that right rear the whole time. Free one. Good job, guys. Yep. Congrats. Yeah, everyone else sharing. They were never really that hard on the right rear. I was just killing it, man. Even when I was trying not to be. Yeah, Lance with the same right front, but what, like 15, 16 points better on the right rear? That's crazy. Most people weren't even on the right rear. The King, awesome. 75, 75. Here's your finishing results. Shane on the right rear, but just barely. Leighton, same story. 
Tracy was on the right rear, but not as bad as me. Like, you just get... I think it, I could have benefited from being easier on the right rear. I think getting that extra grip through the corner and on exit would have been nice. Hmm. All right, so P3, Tracy gets the win. Well done to him. Very well run race. We will go ahead and see the incidents real quick. Probably not too much to see. But we did see some uh, bumper on the track at one point. And I'm sure we got a couple wall hits and things. Gavin, oh, grabs the wall on entry. Pretty early on. He said it was a rough one for him. I'll be sure to be watching his video and see what went down for him. 22 in the wall. A little bit of wall on the straightaway, interestingly. So Leighton going to get it on exit. Yes. Quite a few wall hits already early in the race. John's just blinking. Rick's going to get it on the straightaway somehow. Right, blinking. Whoa, big loose for Alan. Almost a caution there. He almost went around. He's able to put it in the wall and hold it head in the right direction still. That was a big moment, though. sure why we were seeing that necessarily. I think tires getting worn about this time because this is a route around pit in time. Here we are getting around John. I should have just done what I did that first run the whole race. Then again, I mean, Tracy still had that much of a gap even if we <laughs> did the next runs the same way. So he just, he was the one to beat today. He was on another level today, I think. Leads pretty much every lap. We at least get a lap led through our uh, pitting strategy. His pit end's looking pretty similar to mine. So I don't know if he was necessarily gaining a bunch there. I think he's just had better long run. Moving along, trying to see what we got left. There's us going out extra long, leading a lap, as I uh, spoke of before. Kevin's getting wall on exit. That's a big wall hit, actually. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. How did this not bring out a caution? That's a rough break for him, too. He ends up 14th. Actually, that's still not even so bad. He still gets 14th after that? That's crazy. That's really impressive. We didn't have any cautions. So he had no chance to get caught back up. He just still gets 14th after doing that. That's wild. We'll skip ahead till we see anything else that might be big. 22 getting sideways on pit entry. That might be a penalty too. Depending on uh, how they how the game feels about him hitting that cone. Chad in the wall. Saber barrier shoves him off of it though. Moving along, we're right around the uh, second pit time. Gavin coming in here. Let's take a watch what his pit entry looks like. Coming in pretty hot. Pretty good entry. Here's us wearing our tires out. Until we can get past all this. 23 coming off pit exit. Oh, that's what happened to him. That's where his bumper came from. Extremely large hit to the outside wall. Looks like he just got uh, loose down there on the apron. Gets the grass and uh, right up across the track. Thankfully, nobody was there on the outside. That would have been pretty bad. 
Putting two in the wall again. John getting the four tire slide there on lap 86. That's a helpless feeling. I had a more minor version of that during this race where it just, it just feels like all four tires are all sliding up the track. Doing it again right there. It's hard to do much about that. 22 doing that a couple times. And I was trying to hold on to the outside of Chuck, but it just was not going to happen. Not when he had better tires at that point, and he had the preferred line. Just no chance for us to hold on. Frustrating, but he earned it. There was Chuck in front of us, and then John in P4. Both green cars kind of confused me. I might have mixed them up at some point, <laughs> but uh, that'll do it. See guys just kind of messing around now at the race over. I'm just going to test out the water barrels. They are uh, actually quite sturdy. <laughs> so Tracy gets the win and earns the burnouts. Here again are your race results. We get P3, and uh, we will look at the race results page before we continue and look at the updated, updated standings. So that should be, uh, this, the race results page should be popping up here in just a moment. There we go. And here it is, Tracy with the win. John gets the fastest lap right there, so he'll get bonus points from that. We will get P3, but actually tie with Chuck on uh, total points because he did not lead any laps. So that kind of shows you uh, the value of that. Tracy, of course, though, going to get the most points here today. And uh, you can see some of the more, some more of the uh, results here. Nick there in 11th. Thankfully, he was able to make it all the way through with his potential storms impending on him. Gavin had a rough one that still got 16th and 115 points. We'll see how he's doing in the points. Let's see if Tracy caught him. I think he might still... Well, I don't know. Let's just find out. How about that? Let's find out what the points look like. So... Ooh, okay, there we go. Here they are. This should be updated. We are still in P1 with 2162. 100 points and some change ahead of Gavin. Tracy's still third, but he's gotten very close to Gavin. He gained a whole lot on him after that race, getting the win. So we've got to keep pushing hard. If we want to stay in front of Tracy, if he's going to start winning a bunch of races, you can see the top three of us here all have an average finish of 10th. And uh, Tracy will tie my uh, bonus points lead, I guess, if you can call it that. Uh, just bring that because I talked about that before the race. He gets some more bonus points. And uh, that's what the standings are looking like now. So thank you for watching. That was Diet Dr. Pepper series at Legacy Michigan. Tough race. It got on the right rear for us real bad. So we had to do a lot of uh, counter steer and work the wheel real hard. But that's some fun racing. So I enjoyed it. That was some fun. Um, frustrated a little bit just because... I was trying everything I could and couldn't catch Tracy, and uh, by doing so, I think I killed my tires at the end and uh, uh, put us P3, but can't complain too much about that. That's a great race. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.